obviously you guys have a lot of great success with it uh, with the company. What's it like uh, being a female CEO? Is there any difference being a female CEO than a male CEO in the technology industry in your perception? Well, I think all the learnings I have here, I could take it to my own shoe dazzle later. You know, I can start my own shoe club. Yeah. But uh, I'm kidding. I, I think um, here's what I think. You know, female CEOs are should be judged on the same standards as any other CEOs, right? Sure. And because at the end of the day, the gamers, the customers, and the success metrics come from performance, not gender. Right. It's just people get so hung up on that, which is part of the reason why I actually avoided, uh, you know, awards like best uh, CEO who happens to be female. Yeah. I actually take offense at that because I think, why does that even matter? Yes, I mean, there's the old boys club. I will give you that. But I worked on Wall Street in the mid-90s through 2000. And if that's not one of the biggest boys club ever, and yeah. I did well there too, so ultimately, I think guys, once they get over that initial shock that you can wear heels and you don't look like a frow, right, yeah. if you know what I'm saying, then, um, and then they can start working with you and they have fun achieving results. And then, you know, maybe the explicatives may be a little bit different right. at times of stress, but otherwise it's the same. Uh, and. Do you think that less women are interested in taking the CEO position? I mean, Mark Andreessen said uh, on stage at a conference recently, like, I don't, I don't want to be the CEO. That's a headache position. Who wants that job? It's terrible. You know, like, I'd much rather be the chairman or I'd much rather be a board member or investor. It's, just, it's terrible. Uh, do you think women just are too smart and savvy and realize, God, the CEO position sucks? Uh, why would I want that stress in my life? You know, I kind of laugh. I think, like, in... Uh, in day-to-day -day life, traditionally, you know, men would have to go out and deal with all the office politics and stress of making money, and the women are at home spending it, right? right. And you could say that, and I'm going to get all kinds of tweet messages for that one, but essentially, um, CEO role is not what I think most people think it is. As you know, I mean, starting something from scratch is hard. And it takes everything from strategy to people recruiting to management to financial management, business modeling, all of that. And then in the tech space, you have to think about technical issues as well. As well. And then add to that games. And you're thinking about game design because the way we produce or rather publish games is we actually have to produce the game design, meaning like game level curve, UI, all of that stuff. Yeah. But you know what? I find that fun. I find yep. that exhilarating because everything that I've ever learned and have yet to learn, I'm getting tested on. And the people who come on, ready to battle that on through the thick and thin, they can be and I think deserve to be. I don't care. You can call them CEO, CPO. It, the title does not matter. I think at the end of the day, um, it's also the investors. They need to give women a chance in terms of being a leader. Not necessarily, it doesn't have to be CEO, but it's actually just believing in the ability of the person, whether it be male, female, or you know, every color under the sun. Yeah. I, I truly believe that if you have a dream and a passion, enough for me to leave a job that's multi-million dollars or a year paying, to actually go put my money where my mouth is. Yeah. I've taken no salary for half a year or more. I've put in half a million or more of my own money into this thing. There's been a lot of challenges and, and I think uh, testing of metal, if you will. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned something there about investors. This is something I've heard over and over again is that maybe VCs are not currently as interested in investing in uh, female CEOs. I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I don't think they have a hard time getting the meetings. I actually think that there is a, a pretty serious racism issue in the venture capital community where they just don't like white guys. <laughs> it's like if you're not Indian, if you don't have a darker shade of skin, it's like you're, I'm screwed. Because they're just like, I'm sorry, you're not Indian, you're, you're not Korean, you're not, your parents are not immigrants. What? You're not, you don't want this enough. You're a slothy white guy, pasty white guy from the U.S. That you're out. That sounds like my husband, who's actually yeah. a Scandinavian descent, Tobiasen. So, but, you know, 
I don't know if there is uh, racism of such sort, but there's definitely profiling, right? Because VCs operate on what? Trends. Yeah. And they've seen certain successes. And Andreessen doesn't fit that bill, right? Right. He's, so, a, white, he's a white dude. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, he's not Sergey or Larry, you know? <laughs> no. And his, you know, I, I don't know if there's still, I, I don't even know if I should mention it, but his ex-girlfriend or girlfriend was the CEO. So he put his money where his mouth is, right? Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, those are some of, I, I think the thought leaders in the industry uh, are the ones who could make the difference. You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from This Week in, click here.